I'm out here teaching you guys a little Restoration 101. This is to take lifeless furniture, furniture that you feel needs a little bit of love or needs a lot of love. I'm gonna show you how to breathe life back into it. You can see we took a dining room table and it's in three different stages of disrepair. I'm gonna show you how you can bring it all back to life. We're gonna call these levels Threat Levels Restore, Con 1, 2, and 3. I will explain that all and how it works and all the tools you need as we move on. So we're gonna start with stage one. This is like, if you've got a few nicks and scrapes there, you could probably Probably live with them there but say the Queen's coming over for dinner and you want to spruce things up a little bit so you want to take care of those so let's go on to our first which is the yellow restore con one the minor then by the way you have to have the lights or it doesn't work it just doesn't work you can switch up the sound if you want all right to take care of a couple of those scratches all you really need is a little wood conditioner that you put on at the end but you want to fill in those scrapes and scratches you can use uh, wood markers or wood crayons you simply just add it in I'm left-handed so I have to do it kind of over here. You're gonna basically crawl, draw this in and then wipe it down when you're done. And it, and it covers a lot of those scratches. Now, none of this stuff is gonna go away completely because it is the wood and it is the character of things and that gives life to it, it reminds you. And then you'll add a little bit of your, your um, polish on top and you're gonna wipe it down and it'll bring that luster back and that love. Now, we're gonna move on to the second stage. This is threat level orange, restore con two, moderate repair. Don't panic. Orange is a friendly color, we like it, but it does need a little bit more. Now in this case, what you wanna do is, you can see we stain this side, we're not quite finished here. You want to go ahead, do a little steel wool, get it uh, taken down to that nice smooth surface, take off any burrs, and now we're gonna deal with the sort of gouged or the nicked, something's a little bit heavier. If you see over here, Mike can get a shot. You can barely see it, but this one has already been filled. There's a pretty big gouge in this one as we're restoring this table. On this side, you're gonna take some wood putty after you stain it, not before. Don't fill before. You do it after you stain, and you're just gonna take a putty knife and put it in and fill, go in a couple of directions, get it all in, and then uh, after you let it dry, you can go back with some steel wool over top of it, and that will fill in. And then you take your steel wool and you take it down to the surface there. Now you're all set and that's ready to go. And then you can apply on a lacquer if you want and do it. Again, when you're doing these things, you wanna be safe. So make sure you're in a clean vented area. Let's move on. Don't be afraid. We're at threat level red restore con three. Careful. There, we'll get, they're, they're all over the place. It's going from the orange to the red. There is the red. We're gonna end it on the red. This is if you've been very bad and you haven't taken care of your furniture like you should have. Don't panic, here's the goal, okay? We wanna take this surface, we wanna take it back to its original state. The varnish is starting to wear off, the stain is starting to get faded. If it's a painted surface, you simply pick up a paint scraper at your uh, convenient hardware store and you can begin scraping off the paint. If it is stained, you can use a stripper. This has got, they have chem chemicals in them, but the stripper, uh, and read the manufacturer's uh, suggestions on the back, you wanna make sure you use goggles and gloves and make sure that you've got a good clean uh, vented room and along with some eye protection as you do this. You'll apply this, it'll take a, a lot of the work out of it, let the tool do the job and then when you get to this point, you're gonna wanna start off with sandpaper, use a, use a pad sander, don't use the rotary ones, it's gonna leave circular uh, lines in your wood. You wanna use a pad sander. You could start off with uh, 80 grit, which is pretty coarse, because you want to get that wood down to the surface, and then you graduate up to something that's a little bit more mild. This is 150, you could go up to 220. Eventually, you'll end up doing the steel wool like we did before. Again, then you apply your stain, your varnish on it, and your stain on it, and then come back in and use what we just taught you in the second level, is use your wood putty to fill those gaps in. Last but not least, you do your varnish on top of it, and you are ready for the queen to come by and serve up a wonderful meal um, with some hamburgers that are cupcakes. Uh, okay, so look, in the spirit of all of this, we're gonna take a minute to remind you of a, uh, and let you know about a really wonderful um, uh, offering from Hallmark. This is the Hallmark Channel's very first annual re New It All Sweepstakes. It's presented by Ace Hardware and Lumber Liquidators. It is the ultimate how-to sweepstakes 
where one lucky winner will have their home renewed. And it's simple. Go to hallmarkchannel.com forward slash renew it all to enter for your chance to win $15,000 towards fixing up your home, plus a trip for two to Los Angeles right here uh, to our home and family set. And you get to make a special appearance here. We can't wait to meet you. And then the winner will also get on top of the $15,000 a $2,500 lumber liquidators gift card and a $2,500 Ace Hardware gift card. Sweepstakes starts March 31st, which is today, and you can enter up through. Through May 11th. Hurry, enter, it'll be a great time, and maybe you can come help me finish the table. All of the information available on our Pinterest page, which is there on the bottom of your screen, pinterest.com forward slash home and family.